Good day and uh, welcome to this video. What we're going to do is we're going to discuss the Cerasel 6 frame handy nuke and how to um, assemble it. So as you can see we've got two separate parts here. We've got the snug fitting removable lid and then we've got our six frames here. So I've got an unassembled one here and I'll show you how we assemble it. So first off, we'll start with the lid. And this is how the lid comes. You can see it's got all the uh, joints um, and exactly how to fold it. So it is actually quite straightforward. All we're going to do is place it on the ground just like this. We've got our two sides and then we've got our paddle here. And we flip these in like that. Do that with the other side, flip this way, and then simply pull up and fold over just like that. And then you push down, and then these will lock in to the um, holes here. Hold, hold, flip up, fold over. Voila, very easy, very, very simple. Straightforward, and you've got your lid. Now the next part, a little bit more complicated, but I'll try and go through it as easy as possible. Okay, so this is going to be your floor right here, the center bit. So what we want to do is we're going to bring everything up like this. So let's pull like that, and then this part here, we fold and just lift up and fold in like that and then you want to do it with the other side as well so this mirrors the other side lift up fold like that and now we've got it sitting like this and i'm just holding it with my one finger now we want this part here to come up for both so this is the tricky part to keep them both coming up like this to where we've got our box sort of like this all we're going to do is go like that and this is the part where this needs to fold down through over top of that flap that we just had come through So we've now got that side folded down and in the tongue here we want this want this to come up through this joint here so what we do is we bring it up and it has to go through the entire box so you've got to look through the hole and make sure it's going through both As you can see it's come all the way through and then with these little paddles here we want to fold those down. Just like that. And that's all the way through. And then this, we've got a little joint here, we want to fold that back a little bit and then we want to fold it up, up like this so it kind of comes up like this and then it's going to go through this hole here. Just like that. And with these, before we push, push that through, these are our little back doors. Just grab them and just make a fist, a fist on the corner here just like that. Do it to the other side. That way it gives us access to get our hand up through here and just pull the core flute out of it so it doesn't grab as you're pushing it through. So now I can see the core flute's not going to grab this and then just push it through. Just like that. And it should come down flush. And then this also you bring up a little flat and then that goes up underneath in there, just like that. 
Now all you need to do is do the exact same thing to the other side. So we've got a kind of situation like this. You see this part then folds over, fold that over through, and then this needs to come up through and then it locks both sides together. fingers up in there and just lift the core flex so that can go down into the hole just like that so that should be nice and flush and then this goes back up through and then these two sides reinforcement sides simply just fold them down through very straightforward and then I've got little locks in the bottom Push, and this will go through again. Just push through, just spread this out a little bit, down, push it through. Easy as that. So now you've got a very solid outer rim compared to any other competing products out there. And now to install your disc. Very, very simple. You've got a little plastic center spindle. All you gotta do is punch out your entrance core flute, just push it, and it pops open like that. And then this has got a center dial piece, just like that. And you push the spindle in, and as the spindle goes, it expands out and holds the disc in place. And if you wanna close it, just move the dial, easy as that. And now if you want to add in your air vents, just go around the back end, punch the core flute out, just like that. Pull those out and you've got a second one. Just like that. And you've got your vents, core flute vents. Push those in, they've got little hooks, so as you push in they grab. And voila, easy as that. I hope you uh, can uh, assemble that as, as I did. After you've done your first one, it gets very, very straightforward. Um, the other thing you can do, um, if you like, you can just purchase the body. And what that does is if, if you want a, a stronger lid, just find the body. It does suit a five frame metal lid, so you can purchase a high one as well. That goes on just like that. That is, I mean that's as strong as a wooden box. It's, if you tie that down it's going nowhere. You've got the extra rigidity on the sides, but even without that, even with the core flute lid that it comes with. It's just as strong. Yeah. That's me holding it with fingers on the lid. So it's perfectly capable of holding a top feeder. Just like that. Oh, 
but it just snugs on like that on your core flute on the top. Or as I said, you can just, if you want, a bit more weight on top and you're transporting them, you can just go with a, an ordinary metal lid and away you go. Add a little bit more weight to hold it down. Uh, that's going to go nowhere. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching the assembly and uh, I hope you enjoy the product. Cheers.